welcome to Sunday Friends, which is brought to you by the Chatham Catholic Family of Parishes. Jesus tells a parable that compares the kingdom of God to a little mustard seed, which grows from a tiny beginning into something new. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, as we remember how you shared bread and wine with your friends, may we be encouraged to share our food with others so that no one goes hungry. Amen. When we say that we are sorry, God forgives. When we say that we are sorry, God forgives. If our wrongs are large or small, God will still forgive them all. When we say that we are sorry, God forgives. Let's get our bodies ready to hear God's word. Let's listen with our ears. We'll watch with our eyes, we'll keep our lips and hands quiet, and we'll listen with our hearts. Alleluia, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Alleluia, praise the Lord, Jesus, King of glory. Once there was a man who said such amazing things and did such wonderful things that people began to follow him. His name was Jesus. As the people listened to him, Jesus told them about God's kingdom. They did not understand him, so he told them a story called a parable. Jesus said that the kingdom of God is like a little mustard seed. When this little seed is planted, it grows into a huge plant, many times the size of the little seed. The parable of the mustard seed is a lesson to us that huge things can happen even if we do small things for God. As little children, you are like the mustard seed. You need to see that you fit into God's family. Even though you are young, you can play a part in helping the kingdom grow. Let's listen to a story about a tiny mustard seed. The Marvelous Mustard Seed Written by Amy Jill Levine and Sandy Eisenberg Sasso A child plants a mustard seed in an empty garden. It is an itty bitty seed. It isn't anything very special, yet. Mustard seeds are so small that you have to look hard to see them. You have to look so hard to see them that you need to get really close. There is not much to be done with a single teeny weeny seed. You can't eat it or wear it. You can't take it for a walk or cuddle with it. You can't write or blow bubbles with it. The only thing you can do is plant it in the soil. Then the rain falls and the sun shines and things begin to happen in the earth. But no matter how hard you look or how close you get, you can't see the tiny seed. The seed is hidden down with the moles, down, down with the ants, down, down, down with the earthworms. Then it happens in the place of the little bitty seed. Up comes a shoot, up, up comes a sprout. Up, up, up comes a bush, but it doesn't stop there. It grows, and it grows, it grows. 
until it becomes a humongous tree. Birds make their nests there. The neighbors exclaim, a mustard tree? Amazing! Birds resting there? Surprising. People enjoying its shade? Unbelievable! Acorns grow into big oak trees. Cedars have trunks that you can't fit your arms around. Mustard plants are just ordinary bushes. But not this one. This one is a mustard tree. You don't have to look hard or get really close to see it. It is right in front of you. Some people touch it to make sure it is real. Others sit under its branches. They take the pods from the tree and remove the seeds and make spices. They take the mustard leaves and the seeds and make medicine. The spices and the medicine are there for everyone. The kingdom of God is like a mustard seed in the garden right outside our windows, growing from itsy bitsy teensy weensy to colossal, from impossible to see to unable to miss. The tree is so gigantic, it's a wonder. It is not at all what we expect to find. And yet, there it is, surprising us, helping us to imagine what can be but isn't yet. Now it's time to say yes to God to show we believe in him. Do you believe in God who made you and me? Yes. Do you believe in Jesus whose mother is Mary? Yes. Do you believe that Jesus came to show us how to live and to love? Yes. Do you believe Jesus died for us on the cross to open heaven above? Yes. When we need help to follow him each and every day, God gives us the Holy Spirit to guide us on our way. Amen. Let us pray for others. Let us pray for Pope Francis and all those who bring the word of God to people all over the world. May they be brave and courageous. Jesus, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all the people who are living in places where there is fighting. May they one day live in peace. Jesus, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our family at home and at church. May we all spread your hope and peace wherever we go. Jesus, hear our prayer. Now tell Jesus what you would like to pray for. Jesus, hear our prayer.
Jesus, help us to follow you each day and ask for the help of your Holy Spirit. Be with us always so that in our own small way, we can help to make our world a place of peace and joy. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine for Jesus. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine for Jesus. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine for Jesus. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine for others. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine for others. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine for others. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Won't let Sneaky Snake blow it out. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let Sneaky Snake blow it out. No. I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let Sneaky Snake blow it out. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine.